Good afternoon, family. How have you been? So I have on a pastel dress and my purple necklace, my orange earrings. So for the past two months, I've been taking a break from social media to draw closer to my source, to get closer to Christ. No worries, all is well with Brianna, Brennan and myself. We are eternally and divinely covered. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. No calamity, no plague, or no infirmity. So the message that I have today is drawing closer to the King of glory. So while I was off social media for 60 days, I did it 30 days dry fast meaning no food, no water. I starved myself so that I could decrease in the flesh and increase in the spirit. I did not do it for me. I did it for four people. Some things need fasting to manifest in your life. And I've been asking God for a closer and closer relationship. And every time you ask, he will give you the grace to go deeper with him. So every day I was asking him, I said, Lord, please give me the strength because I can't do it on my own. Your strength is made perfect through my weaknesses. Your grace will never take me. Your will will never take me where your grace cannot sustain me. And indeed, he was there with me. And when it was that time of demand, I even prayed for extra strength. I took him back to my early 20s. I said, Lord, back then I didn't know you. I had a bleeding problem for months. You healed me. How much more now, just for a few days, and how much more now that I'm losing myself and giving you praise, I'm losing myself and giving you control. So he helped me through that, but it was not really easy. I remember the first two days when I woke up, I was rolling myself on the, on the floor and it literally took me 30 minutes to get myself together. There was no more oxygen on my brain. My eyes started rolling up. I started drooling that I was praying. I said, Lord, get me through this because since the beginning of my fast, I've made up my mind, two things. I will not quit no matter what because those four people are worth fasting for. And second, I will not go to the hospital. If anything happens, it happens being you know, absent in the bodies, being present with the Lord. Death has lost his grip in, on me. And anyways, if I perish, I perish. At some point, you got to be willing to die for what you believe in. I know where I'm going when I'm dead, so I'm not scared of death at all. So I was pushing through the 30 days, and by his grace and for his glory, I made it through. The last three days were really, really hard because I was just throwing up. I was like, what am I throwing up? There's nothing in my system. I hope I'm not throwing up, you know, my organs. But he gave me the strength and I'm trying to rebuild. My body feels sore. I'm trying to feel like myself. I will be getting back to my healthy size soon. But what I want to tell you guys is don't do things because you want to show off or you want to impress other people. This walk with the Lord is very personal. So when you do things like that, ask yourself why first, your why, and keep your focus on the why. If your reason is valid enough, keep going. And God will give you the grace to make it through if you're doing it for the wrong reason. You're not doing it for applause. You're not doing it for showing off. But you're doing it for results. You can see he will get you through that. He will hold your hand. And I had great manifestations all throughout. He gave me tips on what to do, on how to do it, to, you know, to keep going, how to stay strong. I'll come up with another video at a later time with the benefits of fasting, but this is like, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me, ever, ever. I feel that I have grown not only um, spiritually, also physically. When you go through such a challenge, there's nothing you can overcome. And I'm ready for whatever the kingdom has for me. 
whether it's missionary trips, it's um, anything, anything. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I'm just happy that it's less of me and more of him. I am delighted to have survived this experience. I am humbled that Christ would see me fit enough to do that. Although I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. I just, I just respect the challenge that comes with, you know, every hardship that we go through as Christians. It's not in vain. It's not wasted. It's to produce the manifestation and the enduring of our faith. Christ in me, the hope for glory. So I'm just amazed that in this season, it's no longer I who live, but Christ in me. I'm at a stage in my life where I'm ready to leave everything behind and just follow Christ. The word tells us sell everything and go help the poor, go preach the good news. I would do that without second thoughts if I didn't have children. I'm just in a good place because my eyes of understanding are open. I'm seeing things more and more clearly. And he's just, the Holy Spirit is guiding me every step of the way. He will tell me where to go, what to do, how to do it. And he's convicting people on my behalf. If I need something, he will put in people's hearts and minds. He will put me in their remembrance so that they can be there for me. It's not, it's not easy. Nobody say it would be easy. It was worth it. But Christianity is not trying every day. Christianity is dying every day. Are you ready to die every day? Do you really believe in it? In what is your conviction? What's the depth of your faith? In Ezekiel 43, what is the depth of your faith? Is it um, knee deep, ankle deep, waist deep? Or are you losing yourself and giving him control? So I just can't wait to keep you guys posted and updated. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me, connecting to my source, becoming one with Christ, getting to know the I am that I am in greater details, getting revelations, visions, prophecies, time and time again. And I just cannot wait for him to use me for his glory. Every morning since my fast, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, Lord Jesus, how can Brianna Brillian and myself be of service to you? Use us for your glory. Use us. Use us. We don't want to live in vain because our stays in these bodies are but temporary. Anyways, guys, I pray that you stay safe out there. Um, uh, stay in touch. We'll have more video coming up soon. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah.